Where am I supposed to be going exactly? We, as, we, as we're all back together after extended hiatus, have so we got any news that we want to share? Any, any, mm-hmm. fun, fun any stories yeah. um, from Beyond the Crypt? I mean, I had a nightmare. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it started off as a dream and it became a nightmare. And it's probably one of the most vivid... Much like my life. <laughs> it, it's probably one of the most vivid, lucid things I've ever done, ever. So, to give you like some background, I was, I was on holiday, I'm guessing, with my parents and my dog. Um, and I'm guessing we were going to Norway. So we we were dry, we were walking up this wooded path because we parked up the car. And as we were walking up this wooded path to our caravan, I guess we were going to stay because we were staying in the woods for some reason. Um, I live in a cottage. You don't know. Yeah, no, it, no, it was definitely it was yeah, no, it was a caravan. I remember. Um, and as we were walking up, there were these weird people in like weird clothing. Like um, we just thought they were like locals and stuff, but the girls were wearing like. It's like, like what, what you imagine Amish girls wearing, like the, the floral dresses. Oh, like, yeah. like Faith from Far Cry 5, that kind of outfit. And the guys were wearing like, like pagan robes. And they were just all giving us weird looks. And they were rushing down this hill while we were going up it. And then it gets to a clearing and I'm, I'm there with my family. And we see our new like, caravan home for, the, for the, however long we're there. Um, and we're like, oh, okay, this is pretty nice. There's a, there's a campfire on the left side. This is a big and nice opening. And they're like, oh, your grandparents are here, let's go find them. Um, so we go looking for them, and we go further up this path. And up this path, it's like a little wooded path. On the right side, there are two clearings. The first clearing takes you to this long strip of grass. Um, and across the grass, are, like tripwise, it looks like a little fence tripwise. Sure. And it's every foot they're there. So if you wanted to hop over them, it'd be like those obstacle courses you did in school. And then the path going further up that has like a bike rail so you can't go out into the clearing and across that clearing is just wetlands so the only way to get across would be that weird path with all the trip wires um, and we can see our grandparents in like over the wetlands on the other side where there's more wood Beckoning and you. so we, yeah so we call them and they don't respond to us and they're talking to someone and so i need to mention by the way there's a norwegian guy with us and he's 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 like the owner of the caravan and we're staying with him and he's been talking to me about trolls this entire time. <laughs> what? I don't know why. And oh, so you heard about the trolls. Yeah, and he's like, oh, he's like, he's like, oh, I've seen trolls and they're real and all that shit. And I'm like, what's like, the like dolls are these? Yeah, and, and I'm like, what's the biggest troll you've ever seen? And he's like, it was five thousand feet tall. I was like, that's bollocks. <laughs> and then he was like, you dare mock me? I don't know why I've turned into the yard from Skyrim. <laughs> anyway, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go over to that path with all the weird fence trip wires thing because I can reach them that way because the rest was just wetlands. Anyway, as I'm heading over there, um, like gently going over these, I realise my parents are gone because I could see them on the other side of that uh, clearing where the fence was. They're not there anymore and the sky has gone dark, like it's turned to dusk. I look back over and my grandparents are gone and there's a figure walking and for some weird reason, I don't know if it was on their head or if it was their eyes, there's a big glowing red bright light where their head is like, and they're walking along and I'm like, oh fuck that. So I'm going back. And I'm about to rush across um, to get back like to the caravan. And as I look, there are these two big fuck off like trolls. But like they're like twelve feet tall, huge, bulky, and they're standing in the wetlands, like in the bog, and they're still tall, even though they're deep in this water. And they're looking about. As I'm running back, I, I hit one of these tripwires, and it makes a loud rattling sound, and it triggers them both. Um, and they both see me, so I run back to this caravan, to, um, I get back in there, all my family's in there, we slam the door, I tell them what happened, they're like, that's bullshit, all that. Uh, but the, the guy's like, oh no, they're, they're trolls, and he goes, and then he, then he explains to me, trolls aren't just s- savage beasts, they're tricksters, and they have magic. And that's how, they won't, they won't try and, they won't break into this caravan, they'll try and trick you. Um, and I'm like, okay, um, and so... For some reason, bear in mind, I'm pretty lucid in this. I can control mm. what's going on. So I'm like, well, obviously we're not going to go outside anymore. But it gets late and we're all going to bed. And for some reason, something deep like makes me go outdoors with the dog. Like I'm like walking the like dog or whatever. Like, no, like it forces me. Like I'm not, contr- I'm, I've lost control of my body at this point. Right. And it's midday again. The, the sky's bright again, even though it was pitch black earlier. And it was night all of a sudden. And there's dog walkers coming along this way. And we're like, oh, okay, well, it gives someone, it gives the dog someone to, like, you know, like, someone's talk to, someone who isn't a weird cultist or a Norwegian man. So I want to go over and, like, speak to him. As I go over, my vision just goes dark, and I'm, like, I'm basically blind. My, my vision is about a foot in front of me, so I can only really see my feet and a bit of the dog lead. 
Anyway, she starts pulling my dog, mm. and all of a sudden I see that one of the dogs has, I guess the owner let, let it go, because it starts attacking mine. And so they're now fighting, and I'm trying to pull her off it, and my vision's getting a bit better, and where, where the dog walkers were, there's now just three black figures, which I assume are trolls or something, because um, he told me they were, you know, magic and tricksters and all that, and they're just watching these dogs fight it out. So I yank her back into the caravan, um, and I'm like, fuck that, I'm not going out anymore. And he was like, I told you, they're tricksters, they're magic and all that. They forced you out there. <laughs> anyway, this is where it gets really fucking weird. So at this point, my parents are like, okay, we won't go outdoors anymore. Um, but we've got to let the dog out for a toilet. I was like, fuck that, she can piss in the caravan. I'm not I'm not going out there with her. And even a Norwegian guy who is actually on my side a bit, even though he's an arse, I was like, yeah, if there are trolls out there, which there very much are, don't let the dog out. They'll just, they'll, they'll kill it. Um, and so I'm sleeping with the dog and... Um, in this world that, uh, that I've created, that I've made up brands of like random food items. You know how in Ghostbusters they're stay puffed? Yeah. Marshmallow Man, yeah. Well, in my world, there's a, um, there's a pancake brand and it's got a little pancake man on it. He's got a happy face, he's got arms and legs. I shit you not, I'm asleep and two arms wrap around my neck and start choking me. So I'm fucking on this like sofa bed in this caravan and I roll back so I land on whatever's choking me and it crushes it. I can feel. I can hear it get. I can hear like. I can hear a crack, and the oh thing, God. and my, and it's weak. It's grip weaken. The fucking pancake mascot has been strangling me. It came off the packaging. It like came off the packaging like Doodle Bob out of SpongeBob. <laughs> and, 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 and attacked me. And at this point, so there's this dead pancake mascot on the ground. Yeah. That I've fucking landed on and crushed. That was trying to choke me out. And my parents were like, "Okay, that's weird." Norwegian. <laughs> that's a bit strange we believe you now finally Norwegian guys like yes so we need to stay oh, inside so. they're fucking with us anyway I go to the other side of the caravan where there's another window for some reason even though this happened at like 3 in the morning when we were all sleeping it's midday again outside I look outside and there are there's a group of people doing like a, a weird cir- ring around the rosy dance of each other like yeah, a right. few in a smaller circle more in a bigger circle and then more in a bigger circle all doing Ring Around the Rosie, um, across on this nice grassy field in this sunny, you know, midday weather. Um, and they're all like, I, for some reason, they're all like, I say normal people, like blue collar workers and stuff. One's a fireman I could see because of his uniform. One's like a postman. I could see a postman uniform. They're all dancing. And anyway, for, the sky goes to that weird duskiness again, all of a sudden. And there are like several of these figures with those glowing red lights where their faces stood just around in a circle and half of these people who were recently dancing are now fucking contorting just that stood there like silent hill just contorting oh God. as this sky is getting darker and there's just these red lights getting brighter these people are just like breaking contorting on the spot just around scattered around on some on the floor some stood up and all of the um it's called all of those weird people i saw running down the hill were um are now doing the the dance, the ring around the rosy dance because those people can't anymore because they're trapped in this like fucking tormenting position. Um, anyway, so I, I fucking closed the curtains. The Norwegian man says those people you see they they know they they also know about the trolls um, and that's they they were they were leaving because they know it like it's their season or whatever for the for the trolls to come in um, and like it's we really all need to get out of here. And then I woke up. Yeah. <laughs>